you've lost access to your Facebook or Instagram account for any reason, this video is for you. You see, a while back, I ran an online coaching business and the entire business ran through this Facebook account. This is my personal profile. And one day I woke up ready to start business and this was the message that I encountered. It said, your account has been disabled. This was terrifying, my account was hacked and I wondered, is this the end of my business? Now, fortunately, I found a solution for recovering all Facebook and Instagram accounts. I recovered my Facebook account and restored my business operations. And in this video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. Let's dive in. So there are three main reasons why you might have lost access to your Facebook or Instagram account. Let me show you the first one. The first one is that you've entered a password that doesn't match the password that Facebook has for your account. And if you try that, you're gonna get a message that looks something like this. It says the password you've entered is incorrect. And I'll show you a solution if this is the problem you're having accessing your account. I'll show you that solution in just a second. Here's the second scenario as to why you might not be able to access your account. You might try and log in and Facebook gives you a notification like this. It says the email you entered isn't connected to an account. Now in this case, either you entered the wrong email address when you're trying to log into your account or someone has hacked your account, taken over your account and changed your email address. And I'll show you how to deal with this in just a second, how to get that account back. The third scenario is the one that I encountered and it's a notification from Facebook that says your account has been disabled. And it says you can't use Facebook or Messenger because your account, your activity on it didn't follow our community standards. And this might be something that you did on Facebook or it could be that someone hacked your account, like was in my case, they did something that violated the Facebook community standards and Facebook shut down your account. Now notice this, it says, we've already reviewed this decision and it can't be reversed. And while it says that that is not true, there is a way to recover an account even if you get this message. So those are the three main reasons why you might not be able to access your Facebook account or your Instagram account. Now let's unpack, how do you get around those? How do you fix those? How do you recover your account? So let's deal first off with password issues. When you try and log into Facebook or Instagram, it gives you a message saying that you're using the wrong password. What you wanna do is open up a new browser and then go up into the URL bar and this is what you wanna type. You wanna type in facebook.com forward slash help and then enter that in. You're gonna to come to a page that looks something like this and here's what you're looking for. It says login and password, fix login issues and learn how to change or reset your password. So click on that option and you're gonna be given a bunch of resources and guides to follow. Now, going back to the problem that we're looking to solve here, this first problem is that you're trying to log into your account and the password keeps coming up. It says the password you've entered is incorrect. So in order to solve that, we go back over here and there's two different resources that Facebook provides that you'll wanna follow. The first is this one, problems with resetting your password. So I'm gonna open that up and you'll see that Facebook gives you a step-by-step -step set of guides to deal with password reset problems. So that's the first place that you wanna try. And then the second place that you wanna try is, is this resource right here. It says, I'm seeing an incorrect password error message. That's the message I just showed you a second ago. And you can open this up and there's a different set of troubleshooting steps here that Facebook provides. So those are the two options, this one and this one, if you're having trouble with your password and both of those are gonna lead you down some steps to recover your password or reset your password. Well, what if you don't have a password or you don't wanna use a traditional password to log into your account? There is another option here and it says, get a one-time password to log into Facebook. I'm gonna open that up and you'll see what Facebook does here. It gives you the option of logging in via SMS. So this is another set of steps that you can follow. However, I do wanna mention this isn't available to all Facebook users. When we go back over here, you'll see there's another link here that says one-time password numbers. And this outlines which countries and mobile carriers will allow you to log in to your Facebook account if you don't have an actual password and you wanna get that password delivered by SMS. So you can go through and take a look at this list here and make sure that your country and carrier are listed here. And that will allow you to get access to your Facebook account without using a password, but instead doing it by SMS. So those are the best steps to follow if you're having issues with your password for your personal Facebook account. And we're gonna to get to how to restore a hacked account in just a second. But I do wanna mention how to do this on Instagram as well. So again, you want to go over and open up a new browser window, go up to the URL bar. And this time, this is the URL that you want to enter. It's help.instagram.com. And you're going to click on that. And then you want to go over here to privacy, security, and reporting. And then from this drop down, you want to click on login and passwords. And then you're going to find very similar resources here for Instagram when it comes to resetting your password or accessing your account if your password has been changed. So if you can't access your account because of a password issue, that should solve your problem. You just need to have the email or the phone number that's associated with your account and Facebook will walk you through those steps. Well, in some cases, you might not have an email address or a phone number that's still associated to your account. And that's where this message 
comes up that says the email you entered isn't connected to an account. So you might be putting in the correct email address. You might even try and log in via the SMS method that I just showed you a second ago. And Facebook might say, hey, those aren't associated with an account. If that's happened to you, there's a high likelihood that someone has access to your account. They hacked your account and they've changed the contact information. So the email address and perhaps even the phone number. So let me show you the solution that Facebook's provided in these instances. So what you want to do is go over to your browser, click on the three dots in the top right hand corner. So I'm going to be showing this for Google Chrome. No matter what browser you're using, you'll have some feature like this. You want to choose in Chrome, it's called a new incognito window. And that's just a window where you're not logged into anything. There's no history of your past activity. So it's basically a blank slate. You want to open that up. And then in the URL bar, here's what you want to type. You want to type facebook.com forward slash login forward slash identify and hit enter. And this will take you over to a Facebook page that looks like this. It says, find your account. Please enter your email or mobile number to search for your account. And you can put in your email address or your mobile number that's normally associated with your Facebook account. And what this process is intended to do is to search through the records of former email addresses or mobile numbers that have in the past been attached to Facebook accounts. So you can imagine that if your account was hacked and the hacker changed your email address or changed your phone number. This process here may allow Facebook to find your account based on the email address or phone number that originally was attached to your account. And then from there, Facebook will walk you through some security steps to prove that you're the rightful owner of that account. So that's one step Facebook has provided to help you identify yourself as the rightful owner of your Facebook account. There is another step. I'm going to go back over to Google Chrome here. And again, it might be helpful to do this in an incognito window. So I'm going to do that just so there's no history saved here. And I'm going to type in facebook.com forward slash hack. This is going to take you over to a page that says this report compromise account it says if you believe your account has been compromised by another person or a virus please click the my account is compromised button it will help you log back into your account so you can regain control so you can go ahead and click on this button and then Facebook is going to lead you through a series of questions again trying to prove that you are the rightful owner of your account and that your account was actually hacked by someone else and if you're able to walk through those steps then your account will be restored you can change your password re-add your phone number and then your account will be safe again for Instagram if you believe your account has been hacked similar process let me open up a new incognito window here. And then this is where you want to go. You want to go to Instagram.com forward slash hacked. Let's take a look at it. And the steps here are very similar to what you go through if you're looking to recover a Facebook account that's been hacked. You're going to prove to Facebook that your account was hacked, that you're the rightful owner. And if Facebook's able to see that that is true, your account will be restored. You'll be asked to reset your password, re-add your mobile number, and then your account safe. So those are the first steps to follow if you believe your Facebook or Instagram account has been hacked. Those are the simple steps that Facebook provides. However, you might be running into an issue that looks something like this. Your account has been disabled, as I mentioned earlier. This is when Facebook sees that your account has done some sort of activity on Facebook and it said, nope, your account is totally shut down. Let's see what Facebook says about this warning. It says, we disable Facebook accounts that don't follow Facebook terms. And it gives some examples here, posting content that violate Facebook terms, using a fake name, impersonating someone, uh, using behavior that goes against community standards, harassing people or repeatedly spamming people. So those are some examples of things that you might have done that got your Facebook account disabled. Now, as I mentioned earlier, it's possible that someone could have hacked your account, done activity like this. And then unfortunately you get the message saying that your account has been shut down, even though it wasn't your fault, it was due to a hacker. Well, what does this mean for you? There's actually two different scenarios where your account could be disabled. The first is it's not actually disabled. It's a temporary suspension. And you can see right here, it says accounts that do not follow our community standards or terms may be suspended. So it's not actually disabled. It says if your Facebook account has been suspended, you'll be informed about it in an email. And then it goes on to say, we'll let you know if you can appeal the suspension if you believe we made a mistake. So that might be true for your account. If it's a smaller violation, Facebook's going to send you an email. It's going to give you the steps to walk through to appeal that suspension and to regain access to your Facebook account. However, it's possible that your account was disabled more permanently. Keep on reading here. It says, keep in mind, in some cases, we may not issue a warning before disabling your account. And this is the important part here. It says, we also can't restore accounts that were disabled for severe violations. It could be any number of these things done repeatedly or in a very short period of time. Facebook might 
disable your account permanently. Again, even if it wasn't you doing the violations. Now, unfortunately, if your account was permanently disabled, Facebook doesn't give a lot of resources to recover such accounts. In fact, it says, as we saw earlier, this is permanent. There's nothing they can do to recover a permanently disabled account. You will see down here under related articles, there's this option here. It says my friend's Facebook account is blocked or disabled. And this sounds hopeful. It sounds as if maybe a friend could appeal on your behalf, but you'll notice, let's open this up and take a look at it. If we open this up in a new tab here, you'll see that it says if your friend's account is disabled, they'll need to submit an appeal. So this would actually be appealing a suspension, not actually an account that was permanently disabled. It says using the email that was connected to their Facebook account. So this is talking about the case where Facebook suspends your account, sends you an email and gives you the steps to appeal that suspension. But notice it says, please keep in mind that we can't release information about an account to anyone but the account holder. So it goes on to say, don't try and reach out to us about your friend's account that's experiencing problems. We won't be able to help you. So where does this leave you? If your account has been permanently disabled or if you've experienced one of the other reasons why you can't access your account, you've gone through all the steps and you're still not having any luck. Really, there's two options. The first option is just to leave that account behind, start a new account and start fresh. Now for me, when I lost access to my account, that was not an option starting over. I'd spent too much time and energy and money building up my account, building up my profile and my audience. I could not lose that account. And so I took a lot of steps working with Facebook to have my account recovered. And if that's the situation you're in, you have a very high value account and you do not want to start over. I'll put a link in the description to a form that looks like this that just asks a few questions about your account. And if you fill out that form, we'll take a look at your scenario and see if we can help you recover your account. Now I need to mention that this is a very time consuming process. And so there is a cost involved with this, but I get it. If you have a business that depends on having your Facebook, or your Instagram account up and running, it may be worth your while to fill out that form and go through the steps. So that's what I've got for you in this video about recovering hacked or disabled Facebook and Instagram accounts. If this was helpful, give it a like. And if you have any questions or comments about the steps that I outlined in this video, go ahead and leave those in the comment section below. I'm happy to help out where I can. And again, if you have a high value Facebook account or Instagram account and you need to get your account up and running ASAP, you need it restored. Take a look at the link in the description of this video, fill out that form so that we can review your scenario and see if we can help. Thanks for checking out this video. Can't wait to see it in the next video.